So I try to do something with feedback. So a nice little generative grid patch. Um, yeah, with feedback. So let's click at the device. We are on mono, voices mono. That's what we need to make a self running patch. And then we take some kind of signal we can use. We can use the face in here the oscilloscope so this gives us here some kind of ramp signal it could be something we can modify the signal to get something um or we can use an lfo or maybe we can also use an oscillator mm, let's see maybe you take the wavetable take this off and we use yeah, let's, let's actually use your zero and go with this into that and see what comes out. Get this signal, switch this to a wavetable. And we maybe use here an interesting wavetable. Let's see, strings. We could use strings or this. Gives us here a nice little peaky signal we can use this for melodies so what we need to do is maybe we need to scale this because when we use this as a note signal here we have obviously some very high notes and very low notes so we scale this down here to 10 percent maybe so we get a nice flat little change here <coughs> and maybe 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 we go here to, so this gives us here a ramp signal that is exactly one bar long. So we go maybe to two bars or four bars. So the ramp signal gets longer, more stretched out. There we go here to 20%. Okay. So now that we have this, we take a second wave table, which generates then our sound here and maybe an ad envelope so we need to trigger this here for the gates and we go into the pitch here and let's start with the trigger first here triggers four and let's see how it sounds So we get some random bleeps. Okay, this is nice. I probably also need a sample and hold here. Get this over here. And what else? Maybe we use a um, super massive reverb here on the output. And maybe also a filter, low pass here. Let's see how this sounds. Let me put this over here. Maybe use a second one here for the Modulation. Ah, uh, unison could be interesting. Put also here yeah, this one, and we don't need this. So maybe we should use a scale here to make this a bit more. So use the quantize. 
thing here. Or maybe we use a mi a minor this time around. Transpose minus three because from C to A it's three semitones down. this even slower here. Okay, this is nice. Um, maybe we do a second line here. But here, we use maybe here the... We use the ratios, so, but I use here a ratio setting or module. Instead of here the native one, so I can sample and hold this, this value. I use the second trigger, which has different Trigger speed here, of course, and maybe a mixer. Maybe this one here gets one octave higher, and for this, we use some sub ratios. So this is more more like a a bass sound. So this is basically what I do with the subharmonic on here with my MOOC um, modular synth. So maybe I use a dice. Dice produces some kind of random value every time we trigger it. So we get here random values on each trigger. And we use a modulator to change the setting here. Maybe go to five. So every time this triggers, we get a different subdivision bass sound here. Maybe we also reduce here the um, unison setting is off. Okay. can change the melody basically by scanning out through the wave table which can be interesting later on but now we concentrate here a bit more on uh, this makes no sense here because we trigger this only with this with this one here with this trigger module maybe do a second one here kind of have here a melody and this melody or this current note played by this oscillator here has a counter bass on here produced by the ratios which is just intonation so here we play basically equal temperament and this one down here is the bass is generated by just intonation to get a perfect ratio for the bass I don't know if this makes sense, but for now it sounds kinda okay. I kinda 
want to have this in here somewhere. So make this uh, setup here a bit more compact. So maybe we bring in some feedback here with um, a long delay. Maybe we get the output of these two oscillators here, delayed by four beats. Um, this is 16 notes, okay. We get in here, let's see how this sounds. So we need to modulate this here. And this should be also nice to modulate, so we need a clock quantize. Duplicators here, I use 16. Maybe we also use a clock quantize down here. And use also 16 nodes. Pull this down 40 beats, maybe a bit too loud. Yeah, maybe we do here a step a step mod. Um, so we can just press your randomize, get different settings. To play, maybe do here eight notes, and then modulate your triggers. Let's call this melody one rhythm. And we maybe modulate here the second trick or two. Pull this down. Okay. What we also can do is, of course, use a step mod here to change the scaling. And to randomize. Maybe also this one here. Yeah. We get a nice change up of, of notes over time. Maybe we modulate also a bit uh, the loudness of the individual notes. Can use attenuate or just modulate this here. Maybe go to a minus 10. Minus 10. 
to use the randomize here. Go for free. Should be nice. Ah, let's select a different wavetable. Maybe something with science, science harmonics. So let's modulate this here a little bit just to get. Modulate this here a bit differently. Uh, maybe we change the spec here to instead of four, we go to two. Get this over here. Maybe you can mix in also here a bit of feedback into the melody line generator. So we can use a blend. Blend here. And then use the feedback. Oh, this brings in a lot of noise here. Just uh... I want to modulate this here also with a random mod. Also nice to have your different envelope settings. Um, maybe a trigger here also a dice. The dice. We trigger this here on each time we trigger the gate, and we use modulator out. Go to the lowest setting. And then trigger here. Sounds okay, right? So far, at least. Maybe also instead of just using uh, the feedback of this, maybe also use uh, the second oscillator and mix it into the first oscillator. Mm, let's see. Blend. Uh, 
end and then bring this over here. Oh, this doesn't work, okay. Oh, it does make sense because we also already here mix in two of these, okay, hmm, I see. Delay could be nice here at the end. Let's see if we are actually in... If this is harmonizing with the synthesizer here. Yeah? Go for polysynth. Let's paint in A. Really, huh? Sounds a bit off. slower. We take here the dominant. It kind of works. You probably <clears throat> have to put the ratios here also through a pitch quantizer. Just to make sure. Still thinking this is too fast. Maybe go to eight here. Yeah. I want to have it really slow. The more parameters you introduce and um, add your modules, the harder it gets to actually find the right 
the right values for every module to get what you want. modulation here <clears throat> on the pads. Also back here with a <coughs> pull down up there. Maybe put the texture on here. Texture preset. Oh, it crashed. Nice. Get, we need to get rid of some some harmonics, so I'm going here for Gulf Force. is too much because we have the pet sound already um, so maybe minus eight <laughs> some, some interesting sounds in there sometimes because of the feedback We can also introduce here some chants to not trigger every time, so maybe only with a 50% chance. Also here, so the the, um, the track is not that busy uh, busy with uh, with pleeps and plops.
It sounds good so far. Try some piano here on top, just, just as a test. So we can do something quick and generative here for the piano. Um, maybe we use an arpeggiator and we use random and we use randomize the speed here. So we go to one four, randomize this a bit. Also randomize here the rhythm or the note type. Um, then we use a quantize 16th notes. A randomize for the velocity. And we need some notes here. And we paint in all the notes we want to have. And we need you need to use humanize here and dial down the chance. So not every note gets fired. Maybe you also don't need 16th notes here. Yeah. And maybe some lower notes here. Yeah, dominant. Sounds nice so far. Hmm. Maybe a bass sound. Let's use polymer. Or maybe use also here yeah, kind of an algorithmic approach. Let's go here for a repeater, note repeater, and the quantize. Bring this up to 124. Maybe use a kick drum. Let's see how this works in a 
kind of a techno four to the floor environment. Let's go for yeah. Sounds kind of nice. Call this music. Time for the side chain. Kick. That's maybe too much. Stretch this out two hundred percent. Okay, time for some high hats. We could use also your repeater just to have different approach repeat not repeat Actually, making heads here with the repeater is actually pretty fun. I could add here even more if I want to. Yeah. Maybe change the base here. Bring in some groove. Uh, switch the pulley grid here also to shuffle. Shuffle is active, shuffle is active. Shuffle. Maybe put this all into the music group because there's a sidechain on it. Except the kick. Um, call this all. Just use elevate. It's a, needs, a, needs a bit uh, better mixing, but I think um, 
kind of sounds okay for just a quick yeah quick example or track i think that's it um i'm saving this here uh, maybe i need a better name for that but i save it and i put this project in the description below so you can download it play around with it and maybe um, it's also interesting for you to see how you can create tracks from you know generative starting points and then you know adding more musical stuff to it and then at some point you get a track or interesting um, draft okay so thanks for watching see you in the next video bye